All right, so here we go with the tail animation. Um, with this one, it was pretty. It's pretty hard to animate a tail, to be honest. I'm gonna throw that out there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna throw it out there. But to animate the tail, it it was pretty hard. But um, luckily through this uh, run through right here, it actually came out pretty good. Um, but as you can see, I like to use the spheres. Um, it's it's optional. Um, I threw the spheres in there and I animate from the uh, pivot of the spheres, and you know it just easily rotates the um, the uh, tail. It rotates. <coughs> excuse me, dang. Drunk a lot of water. But it rotates the it rotates the controls of the tail, and it comes out pretty good. And I really like it. And of, of course, so like say if um, you rotate the back part, the spheres stay there, and it, I, I feel like it gives me more um, depth. I like how I just like how it works, and then I don't have to worry about all the uh, the um because like the the controls on the tail. If you're in FK, you know, it, I'm animating with FK um controls right now, and you animate the controls on the tail itself. You know the the um the control curves. It it follows it's pivot I mean not it's pivot it follows the hierarchy of the, the other um control curves so you'd have to animate from there I'd rather animate from the spheres and I get to see what it looks like so I feel like the orbs are much more easier to um to animate with um so I don't know I just I just thought it was better so I just I just I animate with the sphere I just prefer that you know it's up to anybody to go through and you know it, it just all it is and you know like animation is just an illusion essentially 2d animation it's all an illusion 3d animation is an illusion <laughs> all it is it's just an illusion especially when you put it on the big screen or not just the not not the big screen but like essentially like the uh you put it in the real world like you do some compositing <clears throat> magic and it's in the real world it's an illusion because all you see it is on on a video screen or a TV, or nowadays you can see it in um, augmented reality AR. So, so within this tutorial, or this uh, I won't say tutorial, but like this run through, I just work with the tail. Um, make sure like when you're animating the tail, just keep flowing through the timeline. Cause one, um, you understand how it flows. You see where it goes, especially like on a different time frame, or a different keyframe. What do you want to call it? Um, just scrub through it, see how it looks. Um, as I do.
So following up with that iterative process, I go, I come right back to the feet because I'm just like, man, I kind of see something that's off. But right here, I'm just like rotating the feet or uh, grabbing the toe control and just dragging the values. Like, like it's it's like I said from the last video, like it's an iterative process. You got to get used to it. If you want that animation to come out boss looking, iterative process. Trust that process. Trust the process. <laughs> about to make a song in a second no but for just trust in the process it'll get there the animation will come out good um and with me i i kind of like the workflow of just animating it and then going straight to the detail like going straight in not necessarily straight in but like i'd eventually come back instead of finishing the entire animation the walk and then going and do the detail i'd rather like as i go i i go into like the detail i go into like the hard parts or whatnot try to f fix what I need to fix.